What's up guys, in my last video, I showed you this SanDisk iExpand flash drive, which is a way that you can back up photos and videos from your iDevice and delete off your device so that it frees up storage because that problem of running out of storage is really annoying because if you go into settings, general, storage and iCloud usage, that is how you can see how much storage you have left on your device. That is how you see. So as you can see here, I don't have that much left. And if you go to manage storage, you can see exactly what apps are taking up what storage. So as you can see, photos and camera is way, like photos and camera is way at the top and chances are it is for you too. If I were to delete this, I would have over 12 gigs left and the rest of the storage is just my apps. So, yeah. Anyway, that is how you check how much storage you have. So I'm going to show you, like, the the iExpand flash drive is a good way to back up your photos and videos, but this way is even better. It, it, you can back up as, mu as many photos as, and videos as you want, unlimited photos and videos for free at no charge. And it's very easy to use and it works very well. And you don't have to pay anything. So the app is called Google Photos. Now the kind of ironic thing is that the app, the Google Photos app, takes up a lot of storage, which that's kind of, it's like, really? The whole point of the app, but whatever. It's a powerful app, and I'm assuming that that's why it takes up so much storage. So anyway, you just want to, um, I have everything backed up right now, but I'm going to take a few, like, dumb pictures to demonstrate to you. And yes, you, and you can take pictures with the volume button, just a cool tip you might not know. Anyway, yeah, so now we're going to go into Google Photos. When you open it, you can view your photos, and if you go to Assistant, now it is backing up the photos. Now you will have to log into your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you're going to have to make one. So, make a Google account if you don't have one. So it is backing up the photos right now, and then videos it will also back up. But one thing, like one of the things that I don't like about this is that it takes a long time to back up. Like for me, I had so many like photos and videos that it took like two days to back everything up. Well, not that long, but like, like just let it go overnight. What I recommend is just plugging in your device so it won't, the battery won't die and leaving the display on but very dim. So, and then just let everything back up. So now everything is back up to the Google Photos app. So you can, as long as you have a Wi-Fi or cellular connection, you can view these photos and videos at any time. So as you can see, I have all of my stuff backed up. And that's a lot of stuff. So you would imagine that that's taking up a lot of storage on my device. So now make like complete certainty that everything is backed up before you go deleting stuff from your device so but I'm gonna show you a little more about that so if we go to assistant like you can see it it's really cool it makes these um like it makes these auto movies of like animations from your photos like if I go on this one it created this movie the app, this was from our trip in Trevor City, it made this all completely from the app of photos I took, I didn't even have to make it. It's so cool, it did all this automatically, and yeah, I did learn how to disappear. And of course you can do that stuff yourself, Then if we go to albums here, you can create your own albums, and with people, here are all of the people that I have on here and if I go to a person it shows all of the pictures I have of that person and this is the best picture of my dad obviously there's no questioning that and it just uses face recognition technology to recognize that automatically it's so cool this is me all the photos of me and then 
I'm not gonna go to places because I don't want you guys to be able to see where I live because you just don't give that info out on the internet. That wouldn't be smart. But if I go to things, like if I go to, like let's just say cats, um, it shows all the pictures I have of cats. Except it kind of thought my dog was a cat. <laughs> I don't really know why. It's kind of funny. But yeah, it shows you all the pictures of cats. If I go to fires, it shows pictures of fires. It's... I, it, it's so cool that it can do all this stuff automatically. I just, it's, I love it. And then, um, videos, you can see all your videos. And it's just so cool, guys. And it's easy backing up because from your, if you, if, like, if you want to go to another device, you can back up, if you go to another device and back up from the same Google account, then you can see all the pictures are in one place on the same account. Like I backed up everything on my iPod and everything on my iPad, and then it all. And then now I just got a text. Hold on. And now I can see the um um I can see all the photos on the same thing. And then it's great because if you accidentally drop or break your phone. All you have to do is when you get your new phone, just download the Google Photos app, open the same, open the same, just log into the same account, and then all your photos are right there. And just, I would recommend backing up once a week so that you never have to wait like hours for everything to back up. And so it's great. And then now that everything is backed up, like, there are two ways to back up. You can back up at, at very high quality, and that's free and unlimited storage. Or you can back up at the full resolution that the photos actually are. And then, if you back but the thing is, if you do it at the full resolution, then it counts against your Google Drive space. So that's the thing. Like, if you only have, like, a 15 gigs of Google Drive space, it will count against that, which I don't recommend doing that because I can't even notice a difference because the quality is still really good. So I just I just love the way Google Photos makes it so easy to back up all of your stuff. It just it's just so cool. And now like it's time to delete the stuff from your device. And then when you delete all the things from your device, they all show up right here, and you can still view them at any time. I keep getting texts. Like, you can view them at any time. It's so convenient. And you don't have to, like, if you backed up to iTunes, you'd have to plug, you'd have to go get on your computer to view the photos. But here, you don't have to do that. And it's just so nice the way it does that. So, um, you could just go into the Photos app, so, like, I'm going to demonstrate. So, these were all the stupid pictures I took right now. So, I'm going to delete all of those photos. So, now, if I open the Google Photos app, as you can see, they're still right there. Let me demonstrate again. Here is a screenshot of an Android phone. If I delete that, and I'm just closing so I can prove to you, like, if it might show it if it's still open, there it is, right there. You can view them at any time as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection. Now, that could be kind of bad if you're like out in public and you like someone's like, hey, do you have that photo? Oh yeah, let me show it to you. Oh wait a minute, there's no Wi-Fi. It's not as big of a deal if you have a phone because if you have a phone, you can have cellular, but it's weird because like I found that sometimes it works, so like I'm just gonna turn off Wi-Fi and I open Google Photos, you can still kinda see them. But I know some of them like sometimes appear in bad quality. I don't know guys, I don't think you're supposed to be able to. It's kinda weird how that works, but anyway, it just makes it so easy. And if you don't wanna go through individually and individually delete all those photos, Google Photos, I have to, um, this is gonna show my personal information which I'm going to cover up. So as you can see, we have an option to free up space. If we hit free up space, I'm just gonna do that. So, it 
lets you know that all these items have been safely backed up to the Google Photos and you can remove them and they'll delete off your device. Now I don't want to do that because there are some really good pictures that I just want to have on my device to look at. So I'm just going to go through them individually later, but yeah. That is how easy Google Photos makes it to back up your photos and videos. So anyway guys, that is um, the best way to back up your photos and videos. It's not a bad idea to have a separate backup to iTunes or something as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you later.